Hi there, students. To embezzle. Embezzlement. I think the basic meaning of this is just to steal from the company or organisation that you work for. I think a more formal definition might be to say to use fraud to take or steal money that has been entrusted to you, that you are in charge of, to, ste to take or steal the money for the, from the organisation that you work for. The other day we had a word to peculate. Okay, to peculate is a much more formal word for embezzle. I think maybe there's a difference in nuance. I think embezzle is most commonly from the company you work for, whereas peculation is more the nuance is that you are stealing public funds. You're stealing from the public purse. But at the end of the day, they are both uh, falsely using fraud to take money. Again, white collar crime. So the accountant added false receipts to the accounts in order to embezzle a bit of money every month. The cashier simply embezzled the company by pocketing the cash from the transaction and not registering it on the till. The salesman embezzled his company by giving himself a refund for stolen items. A director could embezzle money by adding extra items to his expense account. Well, let's put this and this and this, and then he gets back more money. It's a, an easy way to do it. You could overbill customers and then pocket the difference. That's another way of embezzling your company. Or simply you could use the company credit card for personal expenses and then say the, these were business expenses. Or maybe you could cancel a transaction that really took place. The customer came to the desk, bought the jacket, paid £300 in cash and left. So you gave the customer the receipt and then you cancelled the transaction and kept the money. Um, let's see, embezzlement is stealing from your place of work, uh, finding a way to uh, get more money out of them, but not honestly. Um, stealing goods things that, that your company sells, supplies, or even just taking home uh, office materials. That could be classed as embezzlement. If you were really good, you could set up fake employees. Yeah, let's invent a new employee and then just keep the salary. Maybe you could get uh, commissions, kickbacks from vendors. Well, look, if you give me some money, I will buy a 100,000 of these items from your company. Do accept this envelope. That's embezzlement. So, as you see, effectively, there are a thousand and one ways to do it. I don't recommend doing it because if you get caught, you could easily end up in jail. Um, OK, so let's see. Embezzlement, misappropriation of money entrusted to you, of things entrusted to you. But at the end of the day, it just boils down to stealing from your company. Let's see, to embezzle, embezzlement, how formal is this? I would give it a 6.5 to 7. It sounds, this is legal English, legal, legal business English. I think more informally you could say to rip off, neutrally, to steal, or to commit fraud against your company. And then the question, as to origin, well, there was an Anglo-Norman word, embesseye, to steal or to make disappear. 
and there was also an old French word, besayer, to torment or to destroy. So, to embezzle, to rip your company off, yeah? Like peculate, but slightly less formal. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Embezzle. Embezzlement.